Hello, everybody. Hi. Come on in, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. We are quickly approaching Christmas. <laughs> Before you know it, you'll wake up and it's Christmas. Hello, everybody. I'm chilly today. I have on uh, a flannel because I'm I'm cold. Although it's not that that cold here in uh, where I am in Virginia. I see, uh, who was it that just said they had, oh, Judy said she's had four days of a blizzard. It's not like that here, but I'm still chilly. <laughs> four days of a blizzard. Hi, everybody. Today, uh, today's going to be a fun day. We're not sewing. We're going to do a slideshow of all of your 2022 quilt as you go Christmas quilts. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun because um, I find joy in seeing all the things that you have done with your quilts. And one really cool thing is that we can all take the same pattern and make unique quilts by just choosing different fabrics, different colors. Uh, many of you have put your own little spin on this quilt and I think it's been a lot of fun. So I'm excited to show you all the things that everyone has been doing. Kathleen said, I just started to get into the Christmas spirit and it's nearly past us. <laughs> I'm shocked it's nearly 2023. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the Christmas spirit to hit me, Kathleen. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I I feel like it's Christmas, but I don't feel like it's Christmas. Do you know what I'm saying? I think Christmas is just taking on a different feeling for me. Um, while I love Christmas, uh, just the commercialism of Christmas, I don't know. Just Christmas feels different for me. Like I love this time. I do. Hi, everybody. So before we switch over to the screen, uh, I just want to show you what we're doing next week. And next week will be the last live for a little while. We'll be back um, after the first of the year on our lives on Fridays. And I have a really cool, um, well, I won't go into lots of details, but it'll be a free project. Uh, recently, I made some cushions, some square cushions with boxed corners out of a layer cake. And so I think we're going to share that. That'll be before we start the mystery quilt coming up in January. So we do have some lives and some fun little things to do before then to kind of uh, fill up the time before the mystery quilt. So I'm excited for that. But next week will be the last live through the rest of this year. That sounds crazy saying that, right? But we're going to be making this trivet. Isn't that pretty? We're doing some paper piecing next Friday. So this is one of them that I made. Isn't she pretty? And uh, and I have another one. Isn't that pretty? So uh, for those of you who love paper piecing, you're going to love it next week. For those of you who do not love paper piecing, I hope you still join along and at least try it. And uh, for those of you who do not know what paper piecing is, please join us. And... Uh, this will be a free pattern for a little while, and then it's going to Nancy's shop. So I'm encouraging you to at least stop by and grab that pattern, right? Hi, everybody. So what I'm going to do today is share my screen, and we're going to go over to the creative crew on Facebook. And we won't be scrolling through the page. I did an invitation to share your picture of your quilt in the featured post up at the very top of the page. And so we have quite a few pictures to go through. Quite a few pictures to go through. And uh, yeah, I think we'll head on over there. Uh, the screen's gonna look really kind of weird for a second as we make that transition. So just bear with me for a second. And I'm gonna minimize that. And we have creative crew over here. All right, I just wanna make sure it makes a transition before we start scrolling through. Robin says, they are beautiful, can't wait to try paper piecing. Robin, I think you're gonna have fun. I hope you like it. Peggy loves the trivets, aren't they pretty? They really are. Patricia says, looking forward to paper piecing. It's gonna be fun. All right, so I see it on the screen. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't minimize that left box, so we're just going to try to focus on 
the middle of the screen, okay? And I'm gonna make the pictures big on the screen so that they take focus. But this was the post where I invited everyone to share their pictures, okay? And uh, we're gonna go through each one of the comments. So I think Allison was first, all right? And I'm gonna pull up Allison's quilt. Isn't that awesome? Foundation paper piecing, yep. Beverly, you feel the same way? I know, I know. So Allison said, finished mine last night. I just, I couldn't stand it. I just had to hang it up. Uh, Lisa, this was so much fun, and I am so thankful you do these for us. Isn't her quilt great? Look, she's got a little camper down in the left corner of her quilt. And it looks like she's got a mitt up in the top left corner. Isn't that awesome? She did one of the things that I should have uh, thought about with my snowman. She put little arms on her snowman. Do you see that? That's fantastic. I love that. Allison, I'm so glad uh, that you made this quilt along with us. And I'm so glad you had a lot of fun. It's terrific. You've got yours hanging up already. That's awesome. I like the way you hung it up, too, with the bar and the clips. That's very clever. That's awesome. Hazel, you don't know if you're going to be home for Christmas. I hope you're feeling okay. Awesome job, Miss Allison. Chrissy said, I can't wait to see everyone's quilts. Constance said, one of my favorite things is seeing what everyone has done. They are all so beautiful and different. It's fascinating to see the diversity of the same product. I just, yes, I just totally agree, Constance. I think the same thing. Next up, we have Catherine. Wow, she really quilted hers. Isn't that awesome? Look at the texture of her quilt. Catherine said, I thoroughly enjoyed this sew along. I smile every time I notice my wall hanging. Isn't that awesome? I'm glad. Thank you so much, Lisa, for sharing your talents with us. Well, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I just want you to check out the different variations that she did to her quilt. And uh, notice above the block, let it snow. She picked fabrics that just filled in like a diagonal stripe. Isn't that clever? That is awesome. I like your different colored candy canes. She has a his and her snowman, or snowwoman, <laughs> both on her quilt. Isn't that cute? I love how she's gone in and she's quilted the backgrounds. I do think if I were making this quilt like in my own time and not trying to do it during the live, I do think that I would have done a lot more quilting in my backgrounds. Very, very pretty, Catherine. I love that so much. Good job. I like the fabric you used for your binding too. I don't know if y'all see her binding or not. One of the cool things uh, is because I'm not sure how much detail you're seeing on your screen, especially if you're viewing on a mobile device, right, like a cell phone. But you can go to the Creative Crew and scroll through all of these comments and click on the pictures and make them really big on your screen, right? Good job. I like the dark sashing, too. Next up, we have Judy. And Judy was at this stage, and then I have an update photo from Judy. Judy first posted, need to do the sashing yet? Thank you so much. Lisa, you've helped me gain a little bit of confidence to keep moving forward. Your voice and demeanor are so calming and encouraging. I'm so glad. That's awesome. So here's Miss Judy's before picture. This is the first picture that she posted. And so she had all of her blocks done, but it does not look like she's joined most of the sections together and she still had not done her sashing yet. And then Judy posted an update. 
Look at the difference of that sashing, right? Judy said, finished it during the night while keeping our door dug out because of the blizzard. So Judy has a blizzard at her house, and she was able to get her sashing and her binding done. Look at that. I love the cross hatching on your gingerbread man blog. Isn't that awesome, y'all? She did arms on her snowman, too. I like how she put the little nativity applique and joy to the world in that block. Do y'all see that? I'm so glad you were able to get an update photo in just in time, Judy. Very pretty quilt. I'm so glad uh, that you followed along with us. I think that's awesome. So she had a before and after picture. Next, Tony said, uh, it's so inspiring to see everyone's creations and I've thoroughly enjoyed the journey. And once I choose my sashing color, it'll be completed. Awesome. Well, Tony, when you get it done, we would love to see it. Post a picture on Creative Crew for us. And uh, Pam said, thank you, Lisa, for showing us the different ways to make things. And thank you all for the free patterns too. I downloaded them but haven't done them yet, have too much on my plate right now. I really enjoy watching your videos. I totally understand, Pam. I know what it's like to have a million things on your plate, and you want to do all the things, but you you have to uh, pri pri prioritize, right? <laughs> and it's nice that you can always go back when you have time to actually enjoy the project, right? Next up, we have Carolyn's picture. Here's her quilt. There we go. There's Miss Carolyn's quilt. I love the wavy line quilting. She's done that in a couple of her blocks. I really like that background texture. She's got gingerbread men, uh, buttons on her gingerbread man and her snowman. And my Nana would have loved the polka dot fabric you used for the applique Joy to the World. That's fantastic. Yeah, Peggy said, everyone is so talented in their interpretation of this quilt. I love that y'all feel free enough to do that too, right? I love that you feel like you can take something and make it your own. Beautiful quilt, Carolyn. I love it. Oh, she's got the wavy uh, quilting and the snowman block, too. That's great. Fantastic. I hope you display this proudly. I like the green sashing with the green binding. I think I'm going to do the same binding fabric. I still haven't binded my quilt, y'all. <laughs> the same binding fabric as my sashing. So it'll be similar to yours, only blue. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Sheila said, I'm so excited to see everyone's work. It's beautiful, Lisa. Thank you, Sheila. Delene said, all done. Thank you, Lisa. I had a great time. Let's look at her quilt. Wow. I don't know if y'all see, but she put a little decorative edge around the block with the stocking. That's creative. I like how you... Uh, did the placement for Joy to the World. You mixed it up a little bit. That is a lot of fun. You have a blue sashing and binding like what mine is going to be. Y'all have done so good. I am so proud of y'all. <laughs> y'all have just done so good. What did y'all think about the quilt as you go process for this particular quilt? I don't know that I would join a, another quilt as you go project exactly the same way we've done this quilt, but I've learned a lot throughout the whole process. I love your quilt. Good job. Good job. 
For some reason, I'm really drawn to the plaid block at the bottom. That block is my favorite, I think. Peggy asked if we got any snow. No, it rained. It rained a lot. <laughs> no snow, though. And today is the first day the sun has come out in actually like a week and a half going on two weeks. <laughs> that might explain my mood today. I'm not sure. Miss Kersey shared her quilt. Let's see. She said, thank you, Lisa, for this quilt as you go. Now, y'all look at her border. She added a border to hers. Ah, TJ Tech said, Lisa, I love paper piecing, and I hope anyone new to paper piecing will give it a try. Yeah, I'm excited for next week with you as a teacher. They will see how fun it can be. I hope so. I hope I make it fun. My goal is to make it not confusing. <laughs> I think paper piecing can be confusing. My goal is to make it fun. I love this quilt. Um, and many had asked about adding a border. Was it last week when we did block 14? This is, I love the border addition to it. And you made it fancy too. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I'm thinking, and I can't tell quite from this distance, joy to the world. That looks like it's embroidered on there and not applique. I could be wrong, but it looks like embroidery to me. That's gorgeous. The polka dot background on the snowman block looks like snow. That's brilliant. And I love the birds above Let It Snow. And I'm noticing this too. I don't know if you can tell, but it almost looks like she used like some fur or minky, some kind of textured fabric for the cuff of her stocking. Do y'all see that? Hazel, I love you too. I really do. Peggy, you got lots of rain too. Yeah, don't y'all love that border? Isn't that fantastic? Sue, Sue says, wow, that border is a statement. I think so. Too. It frames that quilt beautifully. Good job. Darlene wants to know, was the border embordered or pieced? That's a good question. And I'm not sure if she's here during the live or if she'll come back and answer that question for us. But that is a good question. That's gorgeous. See, isn't it fun to see other people's stuff? Y'all saw my quilt for, what, 10 weeks? <laughs> it's fun to see everybody else's. Next up, we have Miss Patsy. Let's see Patsy's quilt. Oh, look, Patsy did a little hashtag with my name over top of it. Um, that's not part of her quilt. That's just part of the picture. Look at the fabric that she has used for the stocking. Can y'all see that down in the bottom right-hand corner? I love the stripes of Let It Snow. That fabric is fantastic. I think, I don't see a binding on here. I could be wrong, but that fabric that you did with Let It Snow would make a fantastic binding fabric for this quilt, wouldn't it? She did each one of her Christmas trees differently. I love that. She's got some puppy dogs down there in the bottom left block. And I think you found the perfect candy fabric to fill in the block to the right of Joy to the World because you have the candy pieces next to it. That's awesome. Trinita, I will watch my mail. Thank you so much. So, so... So very Terry said, I see the dog, so cute. Isn't that cute? Patsy, you did so great. Good job. Next up we have Libby. Wow, okay, so I'm a huge fan of the checkered 
uh, fabric or the gingham fabric. That makes an awesome background. It looks like it's snowing behind the snowman with the fabric she used there. Good job. Look at you go, look at you go. I love the fabric choices for the little striped uh, block right above Let It Snow. And I love the sashing fabric and it looks like you use the same fabric to do your binding. Beautiful. Good job, Libby. She said, thank you for such a fun project. Good job, good job. I really have fun just looking at all the different details and fabrics. Usually there's one special part to me that just sticks out on each one of the quilts, right? It looks like, I don't know if you can see that on your screen, but for the Christmas trees up at the top, it looks like she used a fabric that's got circles on it, so it looks like her trees are decorated. <laughs> How smart is that, right? Good job, Libby. <clears throat> Good job. Next up, we have Miss Valerie. Valerie says, this has been such a fun project. Valerie, your quilt is very bright and cheerful. And I love the dark sashing. I was sometimes second guessing my, my sashing choice throughout this quilt. And I think in my design, I used like a dark gray or black sashing. I think it looks really nice with the dark sashing. I do. And then you did a different fabric for your binding. Very smart. I love all the polka dots. My Nana would love that. So down at the bottom, uh, where the Let It Snow block would be, she did um, a manger. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that so pretty? Very creative. She moved some of her blocks around. Right, so the Christmas trees are a little bit lowered on this. I like that. Awesome job. The polka dots. I think that's what it just reminds me of my Nana. <laughs> yeah, everyone likes the nativity block down at the bottom. She even has the little star on there. Can you all see that? Valerie, I'm so glad you thought this project was fun. I'm so glad you made the quilt. Good job. She has hers hanging up. It looks like Karen has hers hanging up too. Let's see. Now, do y'all know to, what do y'all notice first when you see this quilt? It looks like Karen has hers hanging up right next to her Christmas tree. Y'all see the train block in the middle? Isn't that just so smart? It also looks like she made that block considerably larger and then scooted the candy above the pieced block that we did. So smart, right? Very smart. She added a cardinal to the Let It Snow block. Her gingerbread man looks like a cookie. Doesn't that look like a cookie? Oh, Sheila said, just put you on the TV so she could see the quilts better. Yeah, the train. That is awesome. Karen, that was so smart. Oh, Valerie said back on her quilt, the quilt before, the tree placement was accidental. Well, I would have never known that. And I thought it was very creative to switch those around. I think there was a lot of um, places where blocks could be switched pretty easily on this quilt, right? Yeah, Sheila said, I also like the striped binding and border. Yes, yes. It kind of just reminds me of a present, doesn't it? Karen, 
I imagine that train was a lot of work. A lot of work cutting and planning and stitching, but it's so worth it, right? That is just so smart. Good job. That's awesome. Let's see, let's scroll down. Karen said, he, okay, so this is her comment to her quilt. She said, Here, here's my Christmas quilt. It was so much fun. I made a few changes. Flipping the stocking was an accident, though. See, I would have never known that was an accident. I would have just left it as a creative choice, right? <laughs> Good job, Karen. Next up, we have Tammy. Let's see what Tammy, Tammy said. I, it's finished just in time. <laughs> so Tammy has some very homey fabrics in her quilt. Do y'all see the fabrics that she used for the sashing and the background of Joy to the World and Merry and Bright? Do y'all see that? Tammy, you have gotten so much uh, more precise. Your piecing has gotten so much better. You have stepped out beyond your comfort zone just in the time since I've met you. And uh, I am so proud of you, Tammy. You're making quilts left and right. I really love, okay, so the colors in this quilt, they, even though you have some colors that are really different from one another, they just really go with each one of the colors, right? The blue and the green, the neutral background behind the trees and the candy canes, all mixed in with the brown. It's lovely. And it looks like it's snowing behind the snowman. <laughs> Tammy, you did so good. You even did some quilting in your blocks. I see that. Sheila said, this quilt needs to be hung over a fireplace. It's so cozy. I do think it's cozy, too. I think it's the fabric choices of the darker fabric she used. It's fantastic. Next up, we have Stacy Lynn. All right, so here's Stacy's progress. Stacy says, still need to finish the third row and start the final row. Got lots of baking to do this week, so it's probably not going to be finished in t anytime soon. I absolutely love it, though, and I've had a good time doing it. That's awesome. So uh, Lisa had come and asked... Uh, I love this one, and especially the Santa scene. I'm still learning. How did you do the silhouette? Y'all see the little Santa Claus and the snowman and the trees right there? Uh, Stacy said, it's an SVG file I bought from Etsy. I used black vinyl and my brother scan and cut. Isn't that creative? I think that's so smart. Because look at all the details she got in that scene right there in that block using heat transfer vinyl. That is so smart. Well, I know you are really busy with your cooking and your baking and with Christmas coming up, but I'm hoping like after Christmas, after all the hustle and bustle of Christmas is done, that you can sit back down and just, you know, enjoy the time finishing this quilt up. You're doing so good. Very smart using the heat transfer vinyl. I'm hoping that when you get this all done, you post like a final picture so we can see the rest of your quilt and just see it finished. You used a decorative stitch for the snowman smiles like I did. That's awesome. Next up, we have Miss Betty. I'm so glad, Betty, that you posted. I really want to zoom in. I think that's buttons on the Christmas trees. Isn't that awesome? Betty, it looks like you're all finished. You have the binding on your quilt. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. I hope you had so much fun. I'm just going through. I think the plaid fabric you used on your stocking is brilliant. I love that. I think you've also used the plaid up in the very first block. Something about that just seems very homey to me. I hope you've had so much fun making this quilt. I like the dark sashing on your quilt too. I really do. So I'm just curious, everyone who cut out all the words, did you fussy cut them or do you have a cutting machine? Did you use a cutting machine? I'm just curious to know how much, you know, people have these cutting machines. Are you using them? Have you used them to make this quilt or did you fussy cut all of that? Betty, I love your quilt. It's fantastic. I love it. And I can't quite tell from the picture. I'm wondering if you used buttons or if you sewed on the circles for the gingerbread man. I think you used buttons for the snowman. And the Christmas tree. Thank you so much for posting. Vicki says she has cut them all out by hand. Valerie cut all hers out by hand. Trinita did hers all by hand. Deborah fussy cut hers. Robin's fussy cut. Karen cut out by hand. And I know I'm going to say your name wrong. Yes? Please help me sound it out so I'm not saying your name wrong. Fussy cutting, fussy cut. Wow, y'all have done so much fussy cutting. Hopefully the next quilt is not so much fussy cutting for you. <laughs> That's some determination right there. I'm going to tell you what. That's some determination. Peggy said, when I get around to making this quilt, I'll be using my Cricut. Carolyn used her Cricut. Frances fussy cut her lettering for Joy to the World. Wow. Y'all have some dedication. I'm going to tell you that. That is so much work. That just even makes you appreciate the quilts even more, doesn't it? Next up, we have Pam. Aww. So Pam, do y'all see this? Pam has rearranged some of her blocks. She got creative with the layout of her blocks. I think that's awesome. I like the green behind the snowman. I really do. I love that. I also like the fabric you used for the stocking. That's pretty. I wonder what fabric that is. And if I could zoom in, I could be wrong, but if I could zoom in, Pam, it looks like you've done some hand stitch work on your Christmas trees. I could be wrong, but I think I see that. She did some echo quilting around the gingerbread man and the piece block, block number one. Do y'all see that? Fantastic job. Fantastic. I love that. I just want to thank y'all for sharing these quilts. Um, it really does uh, encourage a lot of people. I don't know if you realize that or not, but it, it's very encouraging when you share pictures of your work. Next up, we have Carolyn. Oh, I like the sashing fabric you used on this one. Carolyn said, enjoyed making this Christmas quilt along. Thank you so much, Lisa. That's so pretty. Do y'all see the little deer in Joy to the World? There's a little deer silhouette there.
Jacqueline said, I think I'm going to buy a Cricut. I have one for paper, but it won't cut fabric. Hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quilt, Carolyn. I love it. Your gingerbread man looks like a cookie. And I love the fabric you used for the uh, candy canes, right? Very smart because with that fabric, you didn't have to sew in the little pieced pieces on top, right? That's smart. That's a perfect fabric for those. Very pretty. That's pretty. Good job. It almost looks like you've used an applique, like a piece of lace or something for your snowflake, too. I'm curious about that. That's smart. Carolyn, it's awesome. I love it. You did good. You did good. Next up, we have Sharon. Sharon says, this is my Christmas quilt. Aww. And you did the same thing, it looks like. Picked the perfect fabric for the candy canes. And it looks like you used the perfect fabric for the block above Let It Snow. Smart. <laughs> Very smart. She also used a uh, fabric that looks like it's snowing behind the snowman and the block Let It Snow. That is so smart. Do you all see the little moon up above the Christmas trees in the top right hand corner? I think it's uh, extra little details like that that um, really make the quilt special, right? Uh, one little thing could just make it, like, individual. <laughs> Very nice. I hope you had a lot of fun making this, Sharon. You did a good job. It's so pretty. Next up, we have Amanda. Amanda says, uh, thank you, Lisa. Such a fun quilt. Now, this is something that we haven't seen yet where predominantly the background color each, even though it looks like the fabrics might be different, the overall color of the backgrounds are the same. Isn't that smart and clever? Wow, Amanda, I love that. It looks like you've done some cross hatching behind your gingerbread man. <laughs> and you did uh, a, a manger on your quilt too. Look at that. Very creative. I love that. Yeah, I really like that. Like the neutral background for most of the blocks, right? And then a, a dark sashing. And the sashing looks like it has snowflakes in the fabric. I like that a lot. Very smart. That's why we call the group Creative Crew, right? Because y'all are just so dang creative. <laughs> yeah, the manger at the bottom. Isn't that pretty? I love it, Amanda. You did so good. I like that with all the predominantly same color blocks. Cynthia said, this sew along has made me so happy. I have all the blocks done except for putting them together. I have to stop and machine embroidery two unicorn pillows for my great granddaughter for Christmas. Thank you so much. Well, Cynthia, I hope that you're able to share a picture when you're all done. We would love to see it. Whenever it is that you get back to it, we would love to see it. And then Lisa came and said, did you post the slideshow yet? That was yesterday. I think she posted that. <laughs> I think she's lost track of her days. I think she said she, oh yeah, she's a teacher. So yeah, she's had a busy time at school. 
Next up, we have Miss Trinita, y'all. Let's take a look at Trinita's quilts. Trinita said, this is my Christmas quilt. I love it very much. All right, y'all. So Trinita has added some borders to hers, right? It still looks like she's got to sew everything together, but she's going to add some borders to hers. She's got a star up in the left-hand corner. That's smart, Trinita. And it looks like she has the gingerbread house down in the bottom right-hand corner. I love that. Do y'all ever do the gingerbread house kits? Last year, we bought like eight kits thinking we were going to have a party doing gingerbread houses, and we never did. We still have the kits unopened. I'm willing to bet that they're still good. <laughs> I love the gingerbread house, Trinita. Yeah, Candy said, everyone's done such a great job on their quilts. Robin said, love it. So fest. It is very festive, isn't it? It really is. I like the polka dots in your sashing fabric and the border fabric, Trinita. Trinita, you have also grown leaps and bounds since I met you. You have improved so, so much. I am so proud of you, Trinita. Good job. Thank you for sharing your quilt with everybody. I'm so glad you love it. See, and now you have a new Christmas decoration you can pull out each year. Next up, we have, Ka okay, so Karen posted another picture, and we just did see the corner of her tree in her first picture, right? So this is her quilt behind her tree up on the wall. Isn't that perfect? This was the quilt with the train on it. Y'all remember that? Yep, so that's her quilt hanging on the wall behind the tree. Next up, we have Miss Robin. Robin says, here's my quilt, although it still needs a binding, which I will do tomorrow. Robin, did you get your binding done? I have a confession. I still have not done my binding yet. <laughs> Maybe Monday. I'm thinking Monday. Isn't that great? Look, she's got snowflake fabric behind her snowman. She, too, picked the f perfect fabric for the candy canes, right? The stripes. It also looks like she has a fuzzy cuff on her stocking. That's so smart. And she added some holly to joy to the world. That's great. It looks like she put a little bow tie on her gingerbread man. <laughs> That's awesome. Robin said, not yet. So I'm not alone thinking I'm going to get to the binding and then still so many things to do, right? I love your quilt. That's great. The fuzzy cuff on the stocking is you see things and you're like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I think that's such a good idea. Well, whenever you get to the binding on it, uh, it it's a fantastic quilt. I'm so glad you sewed along with us. And uh, thank you for sharing it. I love it. Yeah, Karen said, Robin, this has a lovely vintage. I think so, too. I think so, too. Next up, we have Vicki. So Vicki, uh, I don't know. Y'all know Vicki. She's one of our awesome moderators here on YouTube, and she hosts a lot of uh, Zooms on Creative Crew, right? Vicki is another quilter who has just Im impressed me so much with how much growth she's had since I met her. Um, Y'all, she is doing all kinds of projects, but Vicki... Um, Vicki had me like in wonder because she was not doing the quilt. She was doing many other things, right? And then all of a sudden, Vicki was caught up. <laughs> and then uh, on another project, Vicki on Patreon, she passed me, right? I was like, 
one minute she was behind in so many things, the next minute she's like beyond where I was. I was like, wow, Vicky, you have just really put the pedal to the metal and she caught up. Look at the train on her quilt, y'all. And Vicky also added a border to hers. I do think the border really frames this quilt nicely. Don't y'all think so? I'm not putting a border on mine. I'm calling mine done. But I do think the border really frames it nicely. I'm so glad y'all have learned a lot from this quilt. <laughs> I learned a lot from this quilt. I really did. The train is a fantastic idea. I love that. Vicki, I love your quilt. I like the fabric you used for the sashing and the border on this too. I really do. It kind of feels like snow. I can't tell from the picture if that's what it is, but it feels like snow to me. Vicki said, I had a lot of technical difficulties this past week while trying to finish this. Finally done, including the binding on Thursday night. My son will help me get it hung up. Well, I hope he gets it hung up for you and proudly display this quilt. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yep. That is awesome. Next up, we have Debbie. Debbie says she's almost finished. Uh, do y'all see the little, it looks like a precious moments block down in the bottom right hand corner. I could be wrong, but it, that's kind of what it looks like. That's cute. So Debbie still has some detail. I'm glad you shared anyway, right, for the slideshow, because this is so much work just up until this point, right? So she has a couple details left to do, but isn't it looking fantastic? So she's rearranged the blocks a little bit. I love that. It looks like she's got some stained glass windows in her quilt. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Well, Debbie, I hope that... Um, when you come back to finish this, that you can just do it and enjoy the process. And uh, you've done so great. I do love that block down at the bottom. I don't know if that's an applique you've added. I'm not sure what that is, but I love it. Fantastic, Debbie. Good job. So when you do finish this up, I hope you pick post a finished picture of it just so we can see the details of your gingerbread man and the snowman but uh feel free to share a picture once you're all finished oh debbie's here she said it is precious moments it has been cut out uh with fusing for over 20 years well this is the perfect quilt to add it to yes i'm so glad you pulled it out and you added it that's awesome That's awesome. I'm so glad you had a quilt to put it into. Yay. Okay, so fin share a picture once you've got it all finished. Oh, was that our last picture? I think that was our last picture. Uh, Cheryl closes, this, closes up the slideshow by saying I had to stop working on mine due to having to make things for grandkids for Christmas. But I love everyone's quilts, and they are all beautiful. I think so too, Cheryl. Y'all did so good. I am just so impressed. I love all of the different variations just as we scroll back up to the top. I love all the fabrics. Each one is just so unique and just shows the personality of the quilt maker, don't you think? I love that y'all have done additions to I love that you've moved blocks around. I love the different colors you've used. I am just so impressed. And again, uh, you know, it does take a lot of 
um, courage to put your work out there, right? And uh, I just want to thank everybody for sharing. And I know many other people have shared pictures of their quilts on our page. And I totally get it if you don't want to join the slideshow and have your stuff on the internet. I get it. Believe me. Um, but I do thank you for sharing on Creative Crew too, because uh, the members there as we scroll as they scroll through our page uh, each day. Uh, Vicky said, "Stop and go down to Terry's." Did I miss Terry's? Terry, Terry, Terry. It is so encouraging to see everybody's quilts. So I just want to thank y'all so much. Sorry, I'm going to scroll through. I'm not trying to make you dizzy. Did I miss Terry's quilt? Scroll down to see Terry. Oh, okay. I did. I scrolled right past Terry. I'm sorry, Terry. Oh my goodness, I did. I must have just scrolled right past you, Terry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the bottom block on this one on the right corner. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a crazy quilt, y'all. Thank you, Vicki, for uh, letting me know. Because I sure would. I just scrolled past it. Not on purpose. <laughs> Look at the quilt. It looks like she did some hand quilting in her snowman block. Looks like a little winter breeze flying through there. I am in love with that bottom block. One of my first quilts was a crazy quilt. I love that. I'm so glad we got this in time. She says, uh, I'm all done. Thank you very much, Lisa. I love looking at the quilt. It gives me joy. I imagine it does. It gives me joy to look at it. I love that. Vicki, I'm so glad you posted that because I, w I just accidentally scrolled right past it. Hopefully I didn't scroll past anybody else's because I certainly don't mean to. <laughs> Wanda said, I just wanted to let you know I've made several cross mug rugs. And recently got together with my besties to celebrate their birthdays. I gave them mug rugs and treats. They all loved them. Yay, Wanda. That makes a really great gift, doesn't it? Yes. Thank you, Terry. Oh, that's gorgeous. The colors just all really blend together on this quilt, don't they? I'm going to tell you, I love the crazy quilt. That's my favorite block of all of your blocks. I'm partial to the crazy quilt. It pulls the heartstrings. I love it. All right, let me just do a one final scroll through because I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to skip anybody's quilt. I think that's everybody, though. Yes, thank y'all so much. Y'all get to see my quilt, the same fabrics, the same things, you know, each week. So this is a great way to finish up this series. And this will be... Let me come back over here. This will be um, in the playlist of this series, right? I'm going to include it in there. So if you have family members that you want to, you know, everyone getting together for Christmas and you want to be like, hey, y'all want to see my quilt in the slideshow? You could pull up YouTube and show them. <laughs> Hi, family. Um, but yeah, it's been an awesome uh, series. It's bittersweet to finish it up, right? But I'm super excited to move on and start the next big quilt with you. If you came in during the slideshow and you missed this, this is what we're doing to finish up 2022 next Friday. We're making trivets. I'll probably put the thumbnail up Wednesday so you can grab the pattern. Get it while it's hot, y'all. Get it while it's free. It's going to be free uh, for a limited time, probably about a week or two. And then this is going in the Etsy shop. So get it while it's free. Okay, do that. Even if you're not going to make it right away. I know it's right before Christmas. Get the pattern. 
Yeah, I'm glad we didn't miss Terry's quilt. I would have been sad looking back. Oh, Terry's here. Good. Um, Celeste said, y'all are so awesome. It's a real privilege to be a part of this group. I think so, too. Robin said, thank you, uh, Lisa. It was so much fun. I learned a lot, and I can't wait for the mystery quilt. Me too, Robin. I'm excited. Christine said, how do I download the templates for the candle trivet? Okay, so I haven't posted them yet, but um, Christine, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, right? It's free. Just hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it. If you click on that and choose all, you should, it doesn't always happen, but you should get a notification when I post the thumbnail next Wednesday. If you don't get a notification, just come to my channel next Wednesday and you'll see the thumbnail. For this and then you just open the description box and the pattern will be a blue link that you click and you can download it then are you in a new room Lisa nope it's just a different view <laughs> usually my camera is right there so you're seeing a different view and a couple months back I totally rearranged this room right and you saw the design wall behind me um, so this is just a different view. Darlene said, what do we need for paper piecing? All right, well, I'm going to just walk you through it real quick since we're all done with the slideshow. And we're just hanging out. Um, so there's uh, several different ways to do paper piecing, right? And uh, my preferred and favorite way is actually paper piecing, but not sewing through the paper. Um, but I'm also going to show you <laughs> uh, how to use templates to cut out your pieces from scraps so that you're not wasting lots of fabric. I love paper piecing and I love how precise and exact your piecing can be with that method. But sometimes if you're just using big chunks of fabric, there can be lots of waste with paper piecing, right? So I'm going to show you next Friday how to use templates. Uh, so if you want to grab some freezer paper, uh, I even, I have a big roll of freezer paper and I usually cut it into sheets, but I just uh, got some of this. These are free freezer paper sheets that are eight and a half by 11. They're ready to go in the printer. Usually I just cut it, right? But this will save a little bit of time. Some freezer paper would be handy because what I've done in this pattern, let me just show you. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. <laughs> what I've done is did these two pages, the last two pages, you can print right on your freezer paper and uh, you're going to waste so much less fabric. So um, these are actually templates of each one of the positions, right? Let me just show you. And you can print that right on freezer paper, right? So uh, freezer paper might be helpful. And then, I mean, what else did I have in this pattern? I'm missing, oh. <laughs> and then it's gonna have this page that you print out on regular paper. You could use freezer paper for this too, right? If you saw the Vintage Heart Mug Rug, one of the first videos I did here on YouTube, I actually used freezer paper for this piece. So you could use freezer paper for that too. Um, of course, you're going to need your um, backing fabric, right? Um, I got one of these. This might be helpful uh, for just creasing your paper template. You don't have to have it. Uh, add a quarter inch ruler might be helpful. You don't have to have it. Um, scraps that are larger than the position pieces for each one of your placements. Uh, pins or a glue stick. You know I'm using a glue stick. Uh, a rotary cutter would be really helpful and a ruler. Um, 
A window or a light pad, you might find that helpful. Binding clips and a seam roller. I don't have my seam roller. It's over there, but that might be helpful for you. So that's just a few of the like main ingredient tool things. You don't have to have them to do it, but you might find them helpful. Karen, your long arm was delivered. Holy cow, Merry Christmas. Okay, Christine, you're subscribed. So, so just keep an eye out next week for the thumbnail and then open the description box and you can grab the, the printout for this. My nose is running today, y'all. <laughs> Sheila said, I watched your video of the pie circle paper piecing and you made it look so easy. That was a lot of fun. I never did go back and finish that quilt. That's a bummer. Wanda said, I love the view. It looks like a sewing school, and I'm the teacher. <laughs> well, yeah, it does kind of look like a school, doesn't it? Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. That's exciting. A new long arm. Wow. You're going to have so much fun. Valerie said, so from a roll of freezer paper, we cut it to letter size? Yes. So, uh, like my printers here in the U.S., eight and a half by 11. And I have a great big roll of freezer paper. So when I want to print on it, I just pull off a section, right? And then use my rotary cutter and roller and I cut sheets that are eight and a half by 11 and then feed it through the printer. The only thing to make sure is know which direction to put the freezer paper in your printer, right? because you want to print on the dull side, not the shiny side. So just double check you're printing on the right side. <laughs> and if you have a laser printer, you probably don't want to print on freezer paper because that laser printer actually uses heat. If you have an inkjet printer, uh, it works great. Darlene said, if you don't have freezer paper, can you use regular paper? Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Yes. Freezer paper is just one of those things that might be helpful, but you don't have to have it. Is that A4 size? Uh, I think A4 is slightly different size. I could be wrong. A4, I think, is a little bit bigger than 8.5 by 11. I might be wrong, Hazel. Terry said, your log cabin paper PC uh, last year was beautiful. I'm looking forward to the trip. Me too. Isn't that pretty? I think it's so pretty. And it's really a great introduction, and I'm just going to be really honest with you. Right, so we're only really paper piecing this inner block, not the border. The border we're going to add once we're done with the paper piecing. All of it is really simple. The hardest part is going to be this little, the little tiny triangles around the flame and we're doing the flame first so we're going to get the hardest part done but even then it's not really hard but doesn't that look like it's complicated because of the small little precise piecing that's the beauty of paper piecing right that's the awesome part of it is the finished project looks way more difficult than it actually was one of my favorite things. <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, again, thank you all so much to everyone who has shared your picture in the slideshow today. And y'all, there's more. There's lots more quilts to see over on Creative Crew that were not in the slideshow today. So I just want to thank everyone for sharing their, their work with, uh, with everybody. And... Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, if I don't see you next week. Oh, so 8.5 by 11 is A4, according to Google. Okay, that's good to know. I did not know that. I always get confused by the A6, A4, B3. It's like, what does that mean? <laughs> 
I hope you all have a fantastic week. And I'm out to go do some Christmas shopping this afternoon. The first time I'm actually going Christmas shopping. How many days till Christmas? We're starting our Christmas shopping today. I want to thank you for hanging out with us. Um, yeah, if you're on Patreon, Sunday afternoon we have our quilt retreat. So I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait to just spend the whole afternoon with you there. And if I don't see you there, I'll see you next Friday. And if not, we're not going to be live until after the 1st of January. So, yeah. Here we come, 2023. I have a couple of fun projects lined up before the mystery quilt. So, yeah. We're going to start the new year off with some fun stuff. Oh, so Sally's here. She said A4 is eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. So a little bigger. I thought it might be a little bit bigger. But she said it, it's, uh, it should still work. A4 should still work. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a fantastic week. I hope I see you next Friday. But if not, I totally get it. It's the day before Christmas Eve. I know. Crazy. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'll see y'all really soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So many windows open. I have to find the right one. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye.